Good morning, oil traders. It is 8.49 a.m. here on October 25th, and it's news day. It's Wednesday, and uh, we're going to get e EAI news today at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time, so an hour after opening here on the East Coast. And uh, we've got API news from yesterday following the close at 4.30 p.m., and they reported a small build um, in uh, crude inventories, um, whereas EAI is expected to report a relatively small draw. So the API report is somewhat bearish. Um, it's the first bearish report that we've gotten in a little bit. and uh, But that doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to head down. Um, the initial reaction to the news, although bearish, uh, we didn't really move. Um, if you guys, if we zoom out here to um, the 15 minute interval, you can see here we got the news uh, right here at 4.30. Um, it uh, moved up a few cents uh, and then basically leveled off. We never got much high. Basically, we made, climbed, I think, three cents higher or four cents higher than the high that day, yesterday. And we drifted basically ever since. Um, and we're at the moment hitting new lows for, uh, for the day. At uh, currently 52.12 is the low. Um, we bounced back up a little bit, uh, but it's certainly behaving a little bit bearish. Um, I won't really feel that it's bearish until we hit kind of um, below 51.70, let's say, um, or close to it. That being said, uh, that's kind of where my targets are and they have been and they remain unchanged i'm looking to exit now three instead of uh, two short positions if we manage to get to below 5150 um, i might exit as many as four short positions as we approach 51 um, if i have that patience in me today and if the opportunity presents itself uh, if we move fast enough that i don't accidentally enter a trade um, before the move is done, which I tend to do. If we do manage to get to or below $51, I'll be looking to enter long positions, um, one or more, depending on how low we go and how fast we get there. On the reverse, if we end up going up instead, yet again, then I will be adding to my short positions. The size of that add or buy will depend on the size of the jump that we make up above 52 and a half, um, which is basically where I bought last. Um, as you guys know, I've been buying kind of uh, positions in accordance to the size of the movements. Um, and recently the movements have been small, so the positions that I've been buying have been just as small. Um, you can see here my last two purchases have been the smallest that I've purchased in a long time with a 6% portfolio weighting followed by a 4% portfolio weighting combined. That's <laughs> um, as big as the uh, third most recent uh, short buy there um, from four days ago. So yeah, if we do go up, I will add again. Um, yeah. Hopefully we go down uh, because I kind of really need the opportunity not only to exit some shorts, but really to get back into some long positions. Um, I'm trying to rebalance that portfolio of mine and uh, right now it's very much unbalanced. But uh, yeah, that's my game plan. Those are my thoughts. What do you guys think? Hit me up down below in the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my past trading history. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys after news and towards end of trading at 4 p.m. Eastern Time today here on the East Coast. Until then, good luck. Cheers.